Um, my name is Jorge Rivero and I'm with First Coast.TV. I have the honor to be here with John Culver and John Culver represents an organization which is? Um, the U.S. Green Building Council for the North Florida chapter. Mm -hmm. And that organization basically its goal, its mission is to do what? Its goal is to foster a dialogue around sustainability and the built environment in North Florida. Um, it's part of a larger national organization and this is the North Florida centric version. Mm -hmm. Now in a previous conversation we had you said there were several chapters of it in the state mm -hmm. and you were planning to consolidate to become one mm -hmm. company under. Any special reason why you're doing that? Uh, simplicity. Okay. Getting able to coordinate the Pensacola and Panhandle chapter with the South Florida or the Central Florida was getting very difficult and we want to have a more unified voice and mission in order to achieve the goals of helping make communities more sustainability. Okay. Of all the things you do, is there anything in particular that you're most invested in? Uh, I'd have to say education for people. Um, most people have misconceptions or have heard sometimes false information or misleading information. Mm -hmm. And so our job is to kind of educate and foster a intelligent and calm discussion <laughs> about a lot of the issues that are pressing in communities right now. Okay. What would you say is one of those myths or things that are people are misinformed? Usually the impacts that we all have and for the positive or for the negative in our daily lives. There's a lot of things that we can do right now that don't cost a thing. Most people think if you want to be more sustainable or more right. eco-friendly you have to spend more right. and that's not true. Okay. And so we're trying to teach and be able to activate people in the community easily and give them the resources to know how to do that. Okay, as someone who's in the whole environmental thing, and of course it's turned into a political potato <laughs> in the last 10 years or so, but what would you say is one of Florida's most dire things that it needs to fix sooner than later? Uh, it's a coin flip between, okay. I'll, I'll choose one, uh, okay. it's a coin flip between water issues and energy production, right. um, but I'll stick with energy because that's the one I'm more well versed with. Okay. Um, the energy sources for electricity in your home are very limited in, the U in Florida compared to other states, right. um, which is not necessarily a bad thing because it means there's a lot of room for opportunity if there's the right education, the right mindset of going towards a new fuel in the future. Right now, and for the history of the United States, it's been very coal dependent. Right. And right now, everything is switching towards being natural gas dependent, which is fine. Natural gas and coal are okay. But one of the things the chapter is advocating for is the diversity of fuel sources. Okay. So rather than going all the way from coal to all the way to natural gas, do coal, natural gas, solar, uh, fuel wind. cells, wind, wind. Yeah. water, hydro, a larger mixture right. so that the market can decide what's Who best. survives. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The strong survive in the yeah. market. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, the reason I got in touch with you is because I also heard that you guys somehow were um, sponsoring sort of a film mm -hmm. to be played at the Corazon. Mm -hmm. um, how did you guys get into film now? Uh, it was not me. It was my predecessor, so I can't take credit for it. Okay. Um, this is the third, third year that we're doing uh, what we're calling a Green Carpet Film Festival. Okay. And it's looking at, this year, five different films covering a broad spectrum of environmental issues. Um, and we're partnered with UNF. Their environmental center helped pay for a lot of this and set up some of these things. And we're doing it at the Corazon Theater in St. Augustine and the uh, Sunray Cinema up in Five Points. Right. Um, and these films are about an hour, they're feature film length, okay. so hour to hour and a half. And afterwards we have an expert panel with local experts who can dive deeper into these discussions that the films raise. Okay. Um, and the upcoming one that you just mentioned at Corazon is called Who Owns Water? Who Owns Water? And okay. it's, it's looking at the issues face, that are, uh, Southeast is facing with uh, some river ownership rates okay. and uh, discussions that start up in North Georgia and make all the way down to Florida. Uh -huh. And it's one river in particular that is, people are fighting over hand over fist to see who no. gets the fresh water and okay. the fish. Now that film will be playing on July 21st. 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 Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday at um, at 6 o'clock is when the doors open at Corazon. All right. okay. And it's Corazon, we've worked with Carla Wagner, who's the owner of Corazon, and right. she's been great. This is the first year that we've, to our fault, we've been very Jacksonville-centric, because that's where yes. we're located. Yes. But we 
are the North Florida chapter, not the Jacksonville chapter. Right. So we're trying to branch out and be able to reach more people. So we're coming down there to see the thing. people, I say. Absolutely. Yes. And so Carla stepped up real quick and was yeah. great. Yeah, she's awesome. And yeah, we love Carla Wagner is awesome. She's a real asset to our community. Yeah. Yes. And so the cinema has great food, great drinks, and it's a really cool atmosphere because yes. your food will be delivered while you're watching the film. Yes. You don't have to miss anything because yes. you're waiting on your yes. pizza or something. Yes. Yes. I saw previews of the film. Mm -hmm. You could go on YouTube, whatever, see previews of who owns the water. It looks like it's an awesome film mm -hmm. or documentary mm -hmm. put together tremendously. Yeah, so, on, on behalf of First Coast Hub TV, Mr. John Culver, thank I you. thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, we encourage everyone to go see this film at the Coruscant, July 21st. Be there at 6 p.m. Be there at B Square. And uh, let's, uh, if we can't protect the environment, let's try to educate ourselves on the environment. Thank you. Absolutely.